More news now. Six months after this man's murder, Omaha police say his case is at risk of going cold. Good evening. I'm Bill Shammer. I'm Julie Cornell. Lamont Slaughter was gunned down outside his home in August of 2023. Bullets flying as several children gathered outside. Sarah Feely has this Newswatch 7 exclusive story. We're actually right here. Full holes are in the house. Detectives Mike Hansen and Sergio Gutierrez stand outside a home near 37th and Heimbaugh, six months after the murder of Lamont Slaughter there. They're walking us through the evidence collected that day, but they say it's not much. Two shell casings out of 26 fired. Gutierrez was the first detective to the scene August 19th, 2023. He says Slaughter had just got home from the grocery store when a sedan pulls up and opens fire. He ends up dropping the groceries, uh, kind of as indicated before, tries to cover up and get some of the kids out of the way as he's doing it, and ends up, uh, I think he struck uh, a couple times in his back. They say those kids, including Slaughter's two sons, saw it happen. It is nine o'clock at night. There was five to six kids jumping on a trampoline that these rounds were essentially going in between. Medics rush Slaughter to the hospital, but he doesn't survive. Detectives went to work immediately interviewing witnesses and trying to find a motive. So we received two Crime Stoppers tips, or I guess a couple Crime Stoppers tips right off the bat. Um, those directions led us to complete dead ends. They say there's no clear indication why he would be targeted or if he even was the target. They say Slaughter was well known, hardworking and on a good path. Everybody makes mistakes. Um, Lamont was a good guy. Lamont had a family. Lamont was trying to do the right thing in this. Nobody deserves to end up like this. Nobody deserves to be killed. Detective Hansen picked up the case in January, determined to find the killer. Every lead that came in, we've double check, triple check. Now making a plea. We, we've looked through phones. We've looked through, you know, cellular tower stuff with uh, triangulation issues in the area. We've looked for video. We, we have crossed every box and checked every, you know, everything we have on this one. And it's just all led us up to this point to where I'm standing here asking for some help on this one. Somebody knows who was in that car and they want that person to come forward. Detectives want to close the case, but more importantly, they want closure. I feel bad for the Slaughter family that, uh, no one has really been brave enough to come forward and um, say what they know happens. Until that tip comes into Crime Stoppers that cracks the case, they'll keep working. These never go cold for us. We always try our best to keep them going. Sarah Feely, KETV, Newswatch 7.